Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. These videos are for you. They're not for me. Let's get rid of some of the editing and just show you around a little bit. We got Gus Gus back here. He's getting big and stinky. Yep, he's about to knock his little horn off. We got the way barn right over here, but unfortunately I can't get it live because the internet's still not working after that big rainstorm the other day. We're having a circuit breaker issue. Obviously we got the puppies inside, so that's taking up a lot of our time. They're on a strict feeding schedule. We sleep for two hours, we get up, we feed them, sleep for two hours, so it's all day long. Um, sometimes we can go a three hour gap, but, uh, here's one of the way bar that there he is. Come on, bud. You want to come say hi to YouTube? Hi guys. Hello. Ow. It's my finger. This one's starting to pee on himself. So he's getting all geared up. We do have to keep an eye on them a lot. So to my point, I want to get the camera up and running but I haven't been able to because the internet's down. The internet actually comes from under that porch, Wi-Fi wise, and it's just not working. I haven't figured it out, but uh, they're more important to keep an eye on right now than the, than, than the house supply way out there because we just want to make sure that Asher and Yoshi, because they're still intact and Winston isn't, that this relationship is okay that they don't start getting aggressive to each other, which they're not. And Asher's definitely starting rut with, with the peeing on his face and stuff. So these guys are definitely in rut. This guy, he's he's pretty much there. He stinks and he headbutts me every time I try to grab his pen. I gotta switch out their water still. I'm in the middle of morning chores. This guy too? Oh buddy, you wanna lick YouTube? Wanna lick him? No? No licking, okay. And this guy over here, Grayson's still hanging in there. He's doing good. Now, we've said it from day one. We're a little afraid of Rut. He's not. He's getting a little stinky. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, you. No. Too close. Too close. Oh, you stink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And see, look, they can kind of talk to each other a little, but he can't really reach them, which is good. We do have a muck out scheduled for next week. Muck out, muck out, muck out. He doesn't really need to be mucked out. So that's kind of what's going on there. The girls are now officially in no milk. I haven't milked anyone in two or three days. What are we, September 7th or 8th? So that's good, that's good timing. My goal is to usually dry them up by mid to late August. Uh, all my buckets are being collected right here. There we go, let's bring, oh, that's a lot of buckets. Some of those were from yesterday. Oh, what else do we got going on? Moo bunnies. Hi, Moo bunny. Yep, bunnies are doing good. There's Lucy and her little one over there. I gotta bring in more hay. Hay order's coming soon, which stinks. I hate that time. Hold, hold please. It's gone up price again. It's ridiculous. Crazy. I'll be back in a minute. I was talking to the goats and YouTube. We're gonna head over to House of Pie. Um, actually, yeah, we'll head over to House of Pie for a minute. Got the chickens, got the ducks. Duck pond needs to be emptied and redone. So water, water needs to be done next. But yeah, we need another load of first cut to get through winter basically because the girls are gonna be on first cut in the winter. And then we'll move to second cut after they have babies, which is February. So we were just calculating out how much hay do we have left down there. We gotta move some more to the barn. We gotta get that, we basically have to get that container empty as soon as possible. It's costing me $100 a month for that container to sit there. So, I mean, it helps having it. We don't have to use the shipping container. Shipping container is now full of stuff I wanna sell. Uh, it's kind of like a big shed. But I might move, I might have the kids move a bunch of hay this weekend, get it out of that. See if we can empty that as soon as possible. And then get a new one here with some first cut in it. For the remainder of the season, this barn's still broken. And then the door's broken, it hits a piece of wood. ADD moment. But get a new trailer. 
get a new trailer in full of first cut. And then, like in January, I've already kind of placed the order. In January, get a whole trailer of second cut. That's what needs to happen. But oh my gosh, the price is ridiculous. These goats are costing us a fortune. But, you know, that's where a little bit of YouTube ad revenue helps. Guys, just keep watching. If you can't buy our stuff, we just appreciate. Watch our videos. You know, ad revenue is kind of garbage on the live cam because they think they think it's not appropriate content. So it's not as good. People making videos about finances out there are crushing it on YouTube. Those are the ones making all the money. And those Mr. Beast people. Okay, hang on. You know, the like shock and awe kind of videos. Once you get into animals, it's weird. Uh, I gotta get more hay. See, they ran out of hay last night. So that's the project for today. Move some hay. Here's the broken right there. It's still broken. I think I showed that in another video. I gotta climb up there and fix it. So the door can open better. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, we have to, uh, what else do we have to do? You wanna go see Billy? Let's go see Billy for a minute. Hi, Billy. How you doing, bud? You good? Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, I don't know if people like this part of the video. Just sitting here looking at a goat. Yeah. Oh, somebody else is coming in. Thor is like, hey, my new movie just came out on Disney+. Plus. Jake just watched it again with Quinn. Hello, guys. Yep, your horn's about to fall off. <clears throat> you are doing good, too. Yes, you are. Maybe I'll end the video over here. Good girls. We are planning on mowing some of this down. I mowed a line through it a couple days ago. Oh, a week or two ago, going that way. But we gotta mow it all down. Especially before Thanksgiving. Actually, our list is growing and growing and growing of what do we want to get done and what has to get done. Two different lists. And the has to is before Thanksgiving. That's kind of our cutoff. Because winter survival mode is what winter is on the farm. You don't want to put projects in the winter. Because if it's bad, hey, you got holidays, right? You got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. Who knows what else you got going on. And then... You know, it's cold, or it could be cold. So get all your projects done. We're at mid, early September. So we got 60 days, basically, a little over 60, actually late. So all of September, all of October, and pretty much a lot of November. So we got about 80 days to figure out every project that needs to get done, needs, not wants. So in other words, the pillar, that's a want, not a need. Uh, fixing that door, need, because the door won't open in the winter. Getting rid of all that brush in front of the door to make that door really nice and easily open and close. Because once snow starts coming, that'll become a big issue. Brushing all this down with the brush hog, need. The whole field, I'm getting you guys dizzy, way out here. This one over here, just to give you an idea where the kids ride their ATVs behind the way out there. Right, soccer net. Big field, all brush. That's a need because we don't want that this tall and then crushed by snow and then it's just bad. So we have to brush that down. That might even happen today or tomorrow. I don't know. But that's it. That's my update for you guys. No editing. One take wonder real quick. And uh, we'll see you again on Sunday. I don't know if it'll be new content or old. Just stick around. Hit the subscribe buttons below and we appreciate every single one of you every single one the members i got content coming for you guys eventually uh patreon i gotta make your video soon too for september patreon i don't know what it's gonna be yet and just you know everybody that just watches the people that donate the people that buy stuff you're all amazing and i still to this day liz can agree with me too i would think she would agree because we talk about it all the time we can't believe this is what we do for a living that we raise goats make goat milk, soap and lotion, talk to a camera all day long, and uh, feed our family of six, and keep our roof over. It, it's amazing. I'm going to cry if I keep going. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys later, meaning tomorrow. So, bye.